I am the executive director for the Land Conservancy Barbados. It's a new organization, um, very new, that has been established in order to assist and work with the government and communities to establish protected areas in Barbados, to protect our special places, such as Graham Hall. Um, one of the issues that we've been experiencing for some time um, in the community is uh, lack of communication from the government on what's actually happening down here. Um, and TLC has had a, a little traction with Graham Hall, unfortunately, um, in the last, well, we've been establishing the organization for, for over a year. So even though we're new, we've been around for at least about a year we've been organizing. Um, not only TLC, but community members, residents, uh, businesses, um, you know, we all want to know what's happening with the sewage treatment plant, of which we know there was a new one proposed, but um, since the uh, EIA meeting that was held approximately two years ago, um, there's been no um, update on that. And um, in that meeting, they actually had the, temp the emergency outfall in the swamp mm -hmm. itself. Graham Hall is a Ramsar site, an internationally recognized um, site because it is a wetland of international importance. Mm -hmm. um, it has been designated in Barbados as a natural heritage conservation area. Um, it needs to be protected. It has been um, recognized by BirdLife International as um, an important bird area. So this area needs to be protected. Now, what's happened at the beginning of this year was that a road was, whether it was here before or not, doesn't really matter. Um, but now there is very, a very much established road here at the back of the swamp, and they've filled in an area at the back here um, that should never have been done because now we have less swamp and less wetland and less ecosystem for the animals that live here. Um, there is a petition uh, out um, to uh, that's asking the government to establish a national park in this area. Um, 5,000 people have signed the online petition a thousand people, over a thousand people have signed the physical petition and we will be having one last opportunity for the community to sign the physical petition on the 31st of March at the St. Lawrence Church at 6.30 in the evening. We'll have an open forum where we're going to talk about some of the issues, the challenges, and the community is invited um, to come and share their stories, share their concerns, and um, ask some questions. We will be inviting some government officials as well. Hopefully they can help shed some light. And really all we want is to work together so that we can create a place that we can all enjoy, so that we can create a place that perhaps can improve our um, tourism product um, that can be a place where Bajans can recreate. And um, it could be a win-win situation for everyone. And that's what we as community members really want to see. And that's what the Land Conservancy would also like to see.